Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. We are here with the very first deck profile, the second place virtual world deck profile from the Attack of the Giant card. I'm here joined by Sami. Mm. Hi, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Who, uh, I'm not good to talk here. <laughs> no problem. Who participated <laughs> all the way from Brussels. That's correct, right? And you yeah, yeah, it's from Brussels. You took second place. You lost in the finals to Martin Darren, yeah. the winner, which will be featured yeah. as well. And yeah, let's so takes to the deck. So before. basically, yeah, yeah. So basically, I played against uh, Sky Striker uh, uh, during the first round. Then I played a uh, mirror, mirror. Then I played against some Shadow ver version with uh, some uh, rockets in it and Assault okay. Mode. Okay. Then uh, fourth round, I played against Prank It, which which was really tough because he was maining uh, Lancia, Lancias and like uh, he he had them. Like the three games in a row in the in the starting hands, so it oh, was really wow. tough. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and then I lost in finals to Drayton, uh, not mainly because um, uh, he was good or anything, but he's a good player. So that's true because he's a friend. But <laughs> trash talking <laughs> Martin, right? Yeah, trash talking. No, the thing is that uh, I bricked really heavily in finals and I couldn't play like uh, at all. But uh, I was expecting to break a little bit with the deck because uh, I would say it lack it lacks a little bit of consistency. Yeah, but uh, otherwise, I'm really happy with my performance, I guess. So, okay, yeah. that takes us to the main deck. So for the main deck, what I did is that basically I didn't really change the ratio uh, ratios in the main deck. It's like three Lulu, yeah, three Nian, three Gigi, three Kirin, mm -hmm. and then three Laulo. That's for the Vewe monsters. Then for the hand traps, uh, I played three gamma with a brick. Yeah, the card you love the most. <laughs> uh, I played three Nibiru. Interesting. Uh, it was really useful actually because I thought it would it would be bad because yeah the for the format is a bit slower I think and most of the decks can play around it but when when I had it in hand it was really good. Okay. And then three ashes, so that's for the monsters. I think that it's a Pretty uh, basic ratio. Um, yeah. yeah. Looks all the Nibiru and the Ashes are definitely something uh, not really a usual sight in the virtual world. Yeah. But I don't know. For me, they both helped re really well. Then the one off, because you can only play it once. So yeah. Twice could have been nice. Then two, fo two foolish burial goods for the consistency. Uh, right. With the foolish burial goods, you either send a Queen, Queen Long. Which you which you banish and then you can add a, a monster and then yeah. you discard. That's a pretty new thing that's popping up in the virtual world. Decks. Yeah, yeah. Like most of people play uh, three tactic three tactical talents, but I'm really uh, I'm not really a huge fan of it. Okay. And also the card is I don't know I feel it's expensive for uh, for nothing. Like it, it could help in some situation situations, but like uh, playing on uh, dueling book, I don't really use it often. So. Okay. For me, uh, I just I just wanted more consistency with the foolish. Even though uh, uh, there's like a, a versatility with a TTT. Yeah. Then basically three Kowloon, uh probably one of the best cards in the deck, since it uh, it puts the 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 trap directly on the field or even this, and also like I did it and it really helped me in, in the matchup against. Um, uh, against uh, the virtual world, so the uh, the mirror, yeah, and then three desires. Right. Uh, I know, I know most, yeah, I know most of people don't like it, but for me, it's one of the best cards of the game. The 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 fact that you can draw uh, a card for me, it's basically the the best effect in the game. So yeah, and the deck, like you can just banish one of your pieces, and it doesn't matter. So yeah, so for me, it's really good. I had a game where I banished like three Shushe <laughs> with it. Uh, I still won, but it was really, really, really tough. <laughs> yeah, your lines of play become like way more different. Yeah, it was like it was so weird. Uh, oh, nice. Then I played the three Shushes, and then that's it for the main deck. Okay, pretty clean, consistent. Then for the extra deck, I, I played one Juju, one Coral, one uh, Charge Warrior. Cloud Castle, Vermilion, Crocodile. So ba yeah. that's basic. I didn't play the Shao Feng because for me, I don't know. If, even though it, um, 
it adds consistency. I'm not really a huge fan uh, of the ca card because I don't know. Uh, I might find it a little bit hard to set up. Yeah. In some situations, and like you don't really need it. The the deck is is really good and uh, without it. Also, the 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 extra spot is really tight. So. Yeah, that makes uh, sense. Like you have the option to play like very nice and like reactive cards, like the Coral, the Stardust, mm -hmm. the Crocodile. Why would you like? Yeah, like for me, even spots? though. The thing is that if you play Shao Feng, uh, okay, you will finish on VFG, but wh whatever, if you get Nibiru, you get Nibiru. If you can put the VFG, it's good, but otherwise you can just play uh, with the grind game. And yeah, that works you're supposed well. yeah, you're supposed to have like enough resources to not get OTK'd or even to play the next the next turn. So for me, uh, I'm not really a huge fan of the card. So. Also, I didn't play TTT or anything, so it's not really the same deck list. And then the one Breaksword. up. Yeah, it's a good card. Uh, it forces uh, traps and and negation, so it's a good card. Yeah, this one is to play ar around dragoon, but I didn't <laughs> I didn't see any dragoons. Yeah, I looked at the uh, breakdown. There were zero. Yeah, yeah, I expected to see more. Uh, yeah, me too. Or dragoons actually, but especially from the Netherlands. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, since uh, yeah, yeah that uh, Belgium and the Netherlands like they they like to play slow, so dragoon is a good card for uh, yeah. uh, their format. Then one fan fan. I know the um, the guys that won the uh, LCS cut it, but like for me, it's a really good card. Like I don't see the point of cutting it, yeah, knowing like it knowing that well. you can, yeah, yeah, like you can banish one card on the field and then one card in the graveyard, knowing that most of the decks in the meta plays with uh, with cards in the graveyard. For me, it wasn't a good call to cut it. Yeah, makes sense. So then the Gaia Dragon just to overlay what is uh, this? the Zeus. Nice. Basic, <laughs> then two VFD toxic. <laughs> Jesus, yeah. And then uh, that was my spice. That was Jinzo. Oh, okay. like uh, the thing is that I cut M seven. M seven is a really good card, but uh, I don't feel like um, it matches with with my play style. I would say because I like to force my opponents to to use effects and stuff. So. And also, like they, they they wouldn't expect a Jinzo like this to pop out uh, out of nowhere. Yeah, exactly. So they don't really play play around it because for them, if they expect um, uh, I would say a uh, Exis six, it would be either this, either this. So you don't you're not really scared about uh, any of them. Yeah. But the Jinzo, the thing is that uh, what happened when I played in the mirror, uh, my opponent had a Jinzo. With a uh, uh, had a, sorry had Zeus with uh, three materials and then he put Zeus uh, at the fourth, so he played around Nibiru, and the mm -hmm. th and the thing that happened is that I had Kowloon in hand, so with with Kowloon, I put uh, the Queen Long, yep. then I did the effect on the uh, of uh, Queen Long on the Zeus, so he didn't uh, even bother cha chaining it. Exactly. Yeah. And so what happened is that I had uh, Kirin in hand. So I had Kirin, I had GG, and then I had the trap in the graveyard. Oh, nice. So I did, so I did the GG effect uh, to special. Then the Kirin, then I banished the trap, and I did um, <coughs> the Jinzo like this. And then nice. you do the effect, the first effect, which is you take one off, and then you take you target uh, a monster that you're open in control, and you take it. Nice. And then uh, I just went to battle, and I. Yeah, with the Jinzo, and then I overlaid my uh, my Zeus over his ah. Zeus. So my Zeus had four materials. That's so cool. And yeah, it was just like the the four, fourth summon as well. So I played through Nibiru like this, and then he just killed because he wasn't ready for it. Nice. But uh, shout out to him anyway because he was nice. Uh, then for yeah for the the extra deck, I think that's all. Nice. Then uh, anything spicy in the side deck? <laughs> that's the only one. Uh, like uh, I bought the cards like a few days ago. I was like, mm, let's try it. It's like a local or a small regional, so why not? Yeah, and then... this is exactly like the cool tournament <laughs> to try things out because there is no real meta anyway. Yeah. So uh, for me, I was like, yeah, why not? And then for the the side deck, the feather jester, which is quite good against the uh, uh, back row decks. Pancratops, which is good also because it's really polyvalent and versatile, so it forces a lot of uh, a lot of traps, uh, hand traps, even though like Skelmeister or so it's yeah. really 
uh, not skill master, sorry, uh, <laughs> like uh, droplets or stuff like this. So yeah. then two twin twisters. Uh, basic, like for me, uh, I think it has a good synergy with uh, Vivi because if you have like a queen long in hand, then you, you can just discard it and then you pop to to back row also against Eldish and you force them to to use the, their back row. So yeah, before then, they want it. Yeah. yeah. Then three Lencias. Oh. Uh, probably the best hand traps in the for uh, hand trap in the format. Like you it's think? good against Vewe. Uh, it's good against uh, sorry, Adlish Zoo and Ed every like Adlish variant. So for me, it's a good hand trap. Uh, then two droplets. Like if you play against VFG and you have the trap in hand, or even though like I played the prank kids, so it helped me a little bit. Uh, for the dry train, because they play also a uh, vanity ruler and also they have the, I think there's the green arrow that they can discard so they can negate uh, a magic, um, yeah, a spell, a spell from the, their hand. Yeah, okay. So for me, like if you send a monster, it's good. Then you're, you're free to play. And then uh, three draw to play against dry train. Uh, I only met one dry train today. That was good, but like I drew it like three times on the same oh, duel, so nice. I just lost. I just yeah. lost it because I couldn't play after it. Yeah, that sucks. And then the last one was the Skelmeister, which I which I uh, I found good against uh, Dry Tron. But as I said, like I didn't really play against them because against it because uh, yeah, I break way too much, so <laughs> it happens. Yeah, yeah. So that's for my deck profile. All right, cool. Anything else you want to add to that? Yeah, shout I just want to say uh, shout out to my team, Dracosia. Uh, nice. The link is in the description. Yeah. Uh, my friends, my girlfriends, basically, uh, th uh, thanks for uh, uh, Card Guild to, for hosting this tournament. It was really nice and well organized. And thank you to you for, uh, <laughs> for the deck list. No problem. All right. <laughs> uh, yeah, thank you for your deck profile. And uh, I'm sure we'll see more of you in the future. <laughs> thank you for very watching, much. guys. Bye.